every day, do something to improve your English. In today's lesson, you're going to learn 12 advanced adjectives that end with the suffix full. Well, what does that mean when we add full to a word? We mean it has this quality. It has this quality. What? Don't worry, I will give you plenty of examples. At the end of this lesson, I have a test for you, of course, with 12 questions. Leave me your score in the comments below. Did you get 12 out of 12? Or maybe mm, 8 correct out of 12? Let me know. My name's Arnell. Let's start. Number one, let's start with three situations. Hitting your toe on a door. Recovering from knee surgery. Recover means to get better, to improve after an operation, after a cold. Mm, losing a loved one. All of these are painful. 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 You can see I use the suffix full to mean something has this quality. In this case, pain. <laughs> Hitting your toe on a door is painful. Recovering from knee surgery is a painful process. Losing a loved one is a painful experience. If something is painful, are we speaking about physical pain or emotional pain? Both. So I have a question for you. Mm. In your opinion, which one is more painful? Getting hit in the face with a baseball? Or someone you love tells you they don't love you? Number two. Again, let's do three situations. Smoking is bad for your health. Negative self-talk is bad for your mental health. Mm. Sugary drinks are bad for your teeth. All of these are harmful. 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 If something is harmful, is it good or bad for your health? Bad, of course. Smoking is harmful to your health. Negative self-talk is harmful to your mental health. Sugary drinks are harmful to your teeth. Question. In your opinion, which one is more harmful to the environment? Littering or driving cars? Okay, what's the difference between harmful and dangerous? Well, first of all, both of these words express something negative, a negative effect. When we think about harmful, we're thinking more in the long term, like smoking. Smoking is harmful. If something is dangerous, we're thinking more short term. There can be a quick, immediate negative effect. Like um, sharp knives. Knives are dangerous. They can hurt you very quickly. This ladder here. Would you describe using this ladder as harmful or dangerous? This ladder is dangerous. You could fall off easily and hurt yourself. Sometimes harmful and dangerous can be used interchangeably. Let's think. Mm. UV rays. UV rays are both harmful and dangerous. I mean, they're dangerous because if you go out in the intense sun, even for 10 minutes, you can get a sunburn short term. But if you're always out and you're not using sunblock, over a long period, you could get skin cancer. Number three, Sarah never remembers where she puts her keys. When I'm stressed, I never remember to do basic things like 
take the laundry out of the washing machine after it's been washed. You know how it is. If you don't take the laundry out, it smells. My colleague never remembers when our meetings are. I'm surprised she hasn't been fired yet. All of these people are forgetful. 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 If someone is forgetful, they don't forget things one time. It's kind of like a habit. It's repeated. Sarah is a forgetful person. When I'm stressed, I tend to be forgetful. My colleague is so forgetful. Question. Who is the most forgetful person you know? This person always forgets your birthday, always forgets appointments. They're just forgetful. Number four. I use my phone for lots of different things. I use a calculator every day because I don't like doing math. Even basic math. Don't like it. <laughs> if you're lost, you can use a compass. All of these things here are useful. 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 Useful itself is not an advanced adjective. It's very common. I wouldn't consider it advanced. But let's put this adjective in advanced sentences. Learning a second language can be useful when you're traveling around the world. The internet is a useful resource for finding information on any topic. The feedback from Kate's teacher was useful for improving her writing skills. Question for you, which device is more useful in your day-to-day -day life? Your phone or your computer laptop? For me, it's definitely my computer. Number five, again, three situations. Watching the sunrise, mm, a baby and a puppy playing together, mm, upbeat music. Do these things here make you feel happy? Yes. These things are joyful. 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 If something is joyful, it makes you feel happy. Happy and a little bit excited. So what's the difference between happy and joyful? Well, first of all, Happy is the much more common word. Secondly, we can say, today I am happy. It would be a bit unnatural to say, today I am joyful. Joyful is used to describe things that make you happy. Watching the sunrise over the ocean is a truly joyful experience. The children's laughter Fill the room with joyful energy. I don't like Christmas music. It's too joyful. And remember, in English, when we use too, that's negative. It's too joyful. I don't like it. Number six. This tree produced a lot of oranges. The meeting was productive and successful. If something is productive, successful, with a good outcome, it is fruitful. 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 We can be talking about fruit, literally, like a harvest or something else. Mm, building strong relationships with clients is essential for maintaining a fruitful business partnership. The negotiations between the two countries were fruitful, resulting in a beneficial trade agreement. Number seven. How can we describe the movements of a ballerina, a swan, a figure skater? 
these movements are graceful, graceful, graceful. If someone or something is graceful, it moves in a really smooth way, very elegant. So, hmm, which of these two animals can be graceful? <laughs> Clearly, the cat. Anyway, the figure skater executed a series of graceful spins and jumps. Despite her age, she moved gracefully. Yes, here gracefully is the adverb, not adjective. Let's look at number eight in two different situations. Mary lost her diamond ring at the beach. Two weeks later, Savannah found the ring and she kept it. In your opinion, who does the ring really belong to, Mary or Savannah? Well, it belongs to Mary, right? Because it was her ring. She lost it. She probably paid for it or it was given to her. It's her ring. Mary is the rightful owner. Rightful. Rightful. Let's do another example before I explain this adjective. Carlson came in first place. Richard came in second place. Carlson is obviously the winner. But three months after this competition, it was discovered that Carlson was taking steroids. He was cheating, right? This makes Richard the rightful winner. If someone is the rightful hmm, something is legally theirs, legally or morally theirs. Number nine, we're almost done this list. Don't forget to leave me your score after the test. And in this lesson, I have 12 adjectives, but if you want more examples of words ending with full, head over to my blog. On my blog, I have 20 adjectives that you can read through. Tomorrow is Jenny's birthday. Maddie knows Jenny loves otters. So what does Maddie do? She paints her a picture of an otter and frames it. Did Maddie think about Jenny's feelings? Yes. Did Maddie dedicate a lot of time to try and make Jenny happy? Yes. Maddie is a thoughtful person. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. If someone is thoughtful, they put a lot of effort and time into making another person happy. If you are sick and a friend or family member brings you food, is that thoughtful? Yes, that's very thoughtful. Well, let's look at one more definition of thoughtful. We know the verb think. The past of think is thought. So yes, thoughtful can also mean you consider something carefully. The student's essay was thoughtful and well-researched. Number 10, 12 students came to the yoga class, but the teacher only had eight mats. She wasn't expecting 12 students. Hmm, no problem. The teacher decided to change the class to a partner yoga class. Now she only needs six mats. Problem gone. Solution, yes. Let's do another example. The card machine at Barker's Pizza stopped working. This is a problem because most customers pay by card. It's easier, isn't it? The owner of Barker's Pizza came up with a plan. He put a sign outside that said, card machine not working. Pay by cash and get 20% off your pizza. Problem gone? Kind of. Solution, yes. The yoga teacher, 
the owner of the pizzeria, are resourceful. 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 If someone is resourceful, they can think of a solution. They solve a problem quickly, easily, and usually in a creative way. Entrepreneurs need to be resourceful in order to be successful. Question, when was the last time you were resourceful? Number 11. I know there's like a line of light coming across my face, but let's keep going. There's only two more adjectives to go. This. <laughs> when John's teacher tells him to do his homework, he does his homework. When Carrie's boss tells her to finish the report by seven, she finished the report by seven. When Erica's mom tells her to clean her room, she cleans her room. John, Carrie, and Erica are dutiful, dutiful, dutiful. A duty is like a task or a job. So dutiful means they do what they are told. They complete what they need to do. Number 12, I moved because of the light. Mark is a married man. Another woman gave him her number, but he threw it away because he loves his wife. Patricia is a celebrity. She's really famous. A newspaper approached her best friend and said, we will give you $100,000 if you secretly take pictures of Patricia. The best friend said, no way, because she loves her friend. She cares about her friend. Christian was offered more money to work at a different company. He turned the offer down. Turn down means reject, say no. He turned the offer down because he loves where he works. He is loyal to his boss, loyal to the company. A faithful husband, a faithful friend, a faithful employee. Faithful. If someone is faithful, they stand by their friend, their company, or something they feel close to. They are not influenced to change their minds. That's 12 adjectives done. One of the best ways to review new vocabulary is by taking a test. Let's do it. Here's my test. I think you know what to do. Put each adjective into the correct sentence. Pause the video to do this. Here are the answers. How did you do? You might think, hmm, some answers are possible in other spaces, but there should only really be one clear option per sentence. Let me know how you did. Leave me a score in the comments down below. Check out the blog and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.